Hey cuties, it's your girl Tana Too Cute. So let's talk about this latest episode of Sisters, season three, episode eight. It's titled Pins and Needles. And it says, Andy is surprised by a big new client. Mm-hmm. Danny and Sabrina try to turn back the hands of time. How they gonna do that? In each of their relationships. And Karen and Zach's DNA test reveals more than they expect did <laughs> let's talk about it i feel good wait a minute who I knew are that you? I know. wow so i don't want to hold you curious too long but the episode started out with andy in her office um you know she was talking to one of her old uh, law school friends i guess she had him do some background work on gary and also dig a little bit into this whole scandal around Jordan. Come to find out, she it was confirmed that the whole thing was made up and Jordan didn't have anything to do with it. Everybody else was telling Andy this, but of course she needed to do her own thing. Um, he also said now she needs to stay far away from Gary because that man is a ticking time bomb. And we all know that anyway. But she goes on home later in the episode to Jordan and, you know, she was all lovey-dovey, you know, with him kissing all over him and everything. And she, you know, reveals that, you know, well, apologized that um, about her not really believing him as he stated that he didn't have anything to do with that scandal. And um, Jordan, I respect Jordan for you know, being transparent with her about it because it's like, from his perspective, it's like it took everybody else for you to believe me versus you taking my word, you know, uh, that I didn't have anything to do with this. And this is typical Andy. They are getting to know each other still. And Andy is very naive. And, you know, sometimes it take others to convince Andy of what it really is um so i respect jordan for bringing it to her attention so all is well with them so we'll just continue to see how things unfold with them now sabrina was at the hospital um i guess she started the process of getting her eggs frozen and um, i really felt sad for sabrina because she was all alone going through this process all by herself you know, but, you know, she, this is the decision she's made and she wants, you know, to make sure that she's set up to have a baby when she's ready. But I really felt bad for her. How about y'all? Did y'all feel sad for Sabrina in that moment? Cameron walks into the doctor's office as well, because again, they are, she had scheduled a DNA test and, and Sabrina was like, what are you doing here? And Cameron was like, well, she has an appointment. But these sisters are on top of each other. They know each other's moves and business, you know, from the inside to the outside. And Sabrina was like, you just had an appointment. One of my subscribers did point out a good theory that, hey, you know, so Karen may be, you know, telling a little feel around this whole baby situation. These ba this baby situation may not be how we think it is going to be or unfold. I'm not trying to dig too deep into the theoreticals, but um, we'll have to see. But they talk it up and Karen eventually tells her that she's there for the DNA test. Now, another highlight in this episode is Gary and Tamara. So these people, they done met up at the hotel, y'all, and they getting it in. So they are taking this to a whole nother, yeah, whole nother level. Um, they getting it in. Gary, he's very cocky um, and, you know, pretty much saying that she wanted him. She wanted him. He wanted her. But I believe that Gary, this is all a part of Gary's plan, his um, narcissistic ways, his controlling uh, man, uh, uh, behavior just to own and control the whole situation. So this is not going to go well with Hayden. Hayden is going to lose it once he find out. 
But again, we don't know. This is TP and the new writers. This could be all a part of Hades playing with Gib. We don't know. We just confuse y'all. One of the uh, scenes in this episode that I really found value in, y'all listen closely, Danny with the therapist. Now, we know that this therapy is definitely opening Danny up and she is uh, really sharing with this therapist. Now, the therapist had her to go through certain situations just way out in way out there situation is just whatever come to mind share though let's talk about those situations which we describe those as problems tell me about a problem because Danny has the um, um, habit of you know really finding the, the negative in a situation before it happened or as if it's already happened so find the problem and then of those problems let's find which one is pro- more probable meaning which of those problems can we fix we're more likely to fix and the one that she pointed out was maybe um tony's ex-wife will come back into the picture and they 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 reunite as a family and now danny is pushed to the side that's the problem that's more probable to fix so how is danny going to fix that problem or avoid that from happening and that was the last p how can we prevent it so what's the problem what which of the problem is more probable to prevent from happening i thought that was amazing now y'all tell me did the writers do a good job on that part at least drop down in the comments and let me know And the last highlight that I really want to talk about is Zach and Karen at the hospital. So they are at the hospital ready to, you know, take this DNA test. So Karen, um, of course, has already filled out the paperwork for Zach, you know, because she know all his information. Zach, you know, he's all happy, kiki, and everything about, you know, um, the process. So as they continue to kiki and Zach rubbing the Karen's belly, Fatima walks in. Now they are a little bit too close and a little bit too chatty, as y'all stated in my uh, poll that I put on my community page. They're a little bit too close and a little bit too chatty. This is a hard situation for my girl Fatima. But she walks in, Zach didn't think she was coming because she said she wasn't, but she had the time, so she wanted to pop up and support her man. Um, So y'all, if y'all could um, have seen Fatima's face, it was not good at all. So they kind of go back and forth a little bit about that, but Fatima stayed ultimately. Now Karen is in the back getting ready for her test, and the doctor is telling her, hey, you know, there is another heartbeat here, basically. And Karen is looking super surprised and come to find out she's having twins. And the twins are in two separate sacks, which means she's going to have to get two different DNA tests because they are in two separate sacks. Now, Aaron pops up in this episode. Now, why is he popping up in the episode? Could one of the babies be his and one of them Zach's? Or neither of these babies are going to be Zach's or Aaron. Now, one of my subscribers had that theory. What do y'all think? How is all of this going to unfold, you know, in this next episode? And how can I forget this very last highlight Andy confronts Gary at her house and basically letting them know, stay away from me and Jordan. Because the dirt that I have on you is enough that the FBI will eat up. So this is your warning. But guess what? Your girl Fatima was right there for ready for backup, locked 
and loaded. Yeah, a reality check, Gary. But those are the highlights for me in this episode. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts. Like up this video, hit subscribe, and look, y'all have a good day on purpose. Bye.